Hello everyone, welcome to the series of data analysis using Excel. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to calculate Spearman's rank correlation coefficient and its interpretation. You can find my videos on SPSS, RStudio, Econometrics, Mathematical Economics, Statistics and Economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Now this method is an is a non-parametric alternative to Pearson's correlation coefficient. That means normality assumption is not required. So when your continuous data is non-normal or uh, uh, data is measured on ordinal scale and you are interested to know the association between two variables, we use rank correlation, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So you can see I have the hypothetical data on students and their marks in mathematics and English. And now I am interested to know uh, students who are scoring higher marks in mathematics are also scoring higher marks in English. So therefore, I can use rank correlation coefficient. So first, we need to give ranks. So I write R maths and then R English. So we use a rank dot avg function to give ranks. So first you select the cell, comma, then you select the entire range, comma, then you have two options, zero and one. If you want to organize the, uh, or if you want to give ranking in descending order, type 0, ascending order, type 1. So I'm writing 0. So 34 marks in maths is rank 8. Now, before you uh, copy the function for the entire range, make sure you use dollar sign here because we do not want to change the range. And then you simply double click here, center alignment, C, ranks are given. Similarly, you can give uh, rank to English marks. So again, command is rank dot AVG, select the cell, comma, entire range, comma, zero. Enter. Again, before you copy the function, use dollar sign because we do not change the range. So now we have ranks. So to find the correlation, we have the function called C O R R E L. So select this comma so your answer is 0 0.6821. So this is your correlation coefficient. This is our R. Now, before we interpret this, we need to check the statistical significance of this value. And therefore, we need to calculate the T statistic. Now, what is the formula of T uh, statistic? So, T value for this correlation coefficient is R under root n minus 2 upon under root 1 minus R square. So let's find all these values. So first we need R, which is 0 0.682. We have already calculated it. N is the sample size. So we have 15 observations. You can see in the data, we have 15 observations. So N minus 2 is 13. So now let's find the numerator. 
value of the numerator so is equal to r into square root of n minus 2. square root of n minus 2. So that is 2.45. You can see the formula here. R that is h5 and then square root of n minus 2 that is h7. Now we need to find the denominator. So first you need the value of r square. So you find r square which is equal to r raised to 2 so your r square, now you need 1 minus r square. So it is 1 minus r square. So this is equal to 1 minus this value. And then we need square root of 1 minus r square. So this is equal to square root of this. So this becomes your numerator denominator. This is our denominator. This is our numerator. So now you find t stat or t value is equal to this divided by this. So t stat is 3.36. Now we need to find the p value. p value. So we use t distribution function, t dist. First is t statistic, comma degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is n minus 1. So here sample size is 15. So degree of freedom is 14. We write 1 for one tail test and 2 for two tail test. So write 2, enter. So now your p value, associated p value is. 0 0.004. This p value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject H0. Now, what is H0 in this case? No significant correlation between maths and English marks. We are going to reject this uh, claim and therefore we conclude that yes, we have the significant coefficient. What is the conclusion? Significant correlation between maths and English marks. Now, since the R, the, the value of R is 0 0.682, we can conclude that we have strong positive correlation between maths and English marks. So therefore, students who are scoring higher marks in maths are likely to score higher marks in English. So this is the idea of Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.